This is Greg Troutwine with Maritime Reporter TV. We're here today with Panu Sorvisto, Sales Director, Shaftline Solutions, Wartzilla, to discuss the Wartzilla AirGuard Seal Solution, an upgrade on a technology that has been proven since 1988. Panu, to start us off, can you explain what exactly the Wartzilla Shaftline Solution is? Historically, if we look at uh, Wartzilla, uh, and as uh, as a season bearings business, um, the uh, the season bearings business came into Wurzela through the acquisitions, okay. And and mainly having a season bearings portfolio, stern tip sealing systems, stern tip bearing systems, and uh, and lines of bearing systems and uh, associated auxiliaries. And and obviously our portfolio has grown over the years through the acquisitions. Uh, through the portfolio development, through the service development. And uh, now we have obviously been discussing it internally, you know, whether as we were, season bearings, virtual season bearings, whether it describes our business the best possible way and what we are offering to the market. And we came to the conclusion that, that uh, we are much more than what we were in the early days, early 2000, when Wurzela took over the season bearings business. So we are much more. Our portfolio offering is, is far more advanced. Our service offering is far more advanced. So comparing to where we were in the early days in Wurzela organization as a, a product supplier, uh, if I look at it today, we are a solution provider. Instead of offering a product for uh, propulsion shaft line, we, we offer nowadays a complete solutions. And it's not just, uh, not just for, for the uh, product portfolio. If we look at it in a, in a product context, also in our servicing offering, the, the portfolio is totally different. Earlier, it was mainly, if you look at the service side of the business, it was mainly associated on working around a seal and bearing assembly. As today, we are doing a large turnkey uh, project, for example, on the vessel groundings. We are repairing the complete propulsion shaft lines. So there, there has been uh, uh, significant changes in in, in our portfolio offering, in our services offering, and, uh, and uh, we came to the conclusion that the, the old name as it was, for chalices and bearings, did not describe our business the best possible way, and hence we decided to change it to Wurzela Shuffland Solutions. Can you just give us a brief look, a brief overview of the history of the solution and its evolution? Looking at it, uh, years back, of course, the first air guard solution um, came out because obviously there was a need from the market, you know, to have a environmentally sound solution. So, so the air guard sealing system was was uh, developed uh, based on that criteria. Obviously, uh, the first air guard solution was based on a three lipring aft seal configuration. Okay, and um, and. Uh, then later on, uh, to enhance and improve the redundancy of the sealing system, it was developed to a four lip ring configuration, which is pretty much the industry standard nowadays on, on many new building vessels. And, uh, and obviously, uh, those two uh, air guard sealing solutions have been, have been uh, the main offering from our side for the new build vessels, as well as for the retrofit installations. And now, when we come to the to talk about where we are today, and specifically perhaps jumping to the topic of two pipe air guard. Now, uh, with this uh, previous generation of air guard seals, if you like, three lip ring, and and then later on four lip ring systems, we had a certain piping configurations, which uh, in some of the retrofit and upgrade cases was not optimal. 
in the sense that quite often we had to work on the vessel um, piping system throughout the stern tube. And, uh, and we had many cases where, where our customers, they were approaching us asking, can, you up, can we upgrade our sealing system to your air guard? And we said, yes, you can, but you have to do these and these modifications. Mm -hmm. And um, openly and honestly, uh, quite a good number of, of our customers, they said, um, well, it's a too big job to execute during a normal dry docking, so, so we skip it right now. Okay. So obviously having all this feedback from, uh, from our customers, um, we start to think of, okay, well, perhaps we can do something uh, with our ceiling solution. Uh, upgrade it and uh, and obviously we task our engineering teams we have plenty of brilliant engineers so 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 they put their heads together start to think of it how we can come up with a better solution and the outcome was the two by beta and why two by beta well the the reason is quite simple we have a, a standard lip seal solutions a good number of there on the marketplace which are based on the three lip ring configuration and they have only two pipes through the stern tube. Okay. So upgrading those to the air type seal in the past required shot removal to get additional third pipeline into the stern tube. And of course that comes with the cost. It comes with the extra time in the dry dock and so on. So, we decided to come up with a solution which can utilize the existing pipelines and yet allow our customers to upgrade to a more environmentally friendly solution, air guard seal, which then again allows them to operate and continue to operate the vessel with the mineral oils even going to the US waters and be compliant with the VTP. Okay, so Panu, we have the history of the solution. Uh, we have the reasoning behind uh, the new two-pipe system. Can you discuss now exactly the SEAL functionality? How does the SEAL work? Well, uh, again, interesting question. Many thanks Greg, for that one. Um, looking at the SEAL functionality itself, to be perfectly honest, it, it provides uh, as a main sealing functionality all the same functionalities than the previous air guard generation. So, so there is no uh, compromise on the, on the safety of the sealing solution, uh, etc. So basically, the main functionalities on the seal are are exactly the same. Uh, when we look at it, where it differentiates from from uh, from uh, the previous generation of air guard seals. Obviously, the big difference is the two pipe, which, which I explained earlier. Uh, the second thing is that it has less auxiliary systems comparing to the previous generations. And, and this is, again, a quite important topic, especially when we talk about the retrofitting of the seals. We are talking about the existing vessel, where the engine room is, is full of all different kind of auxiliaries and equipment, engines and so forth, generators. So putting a new auxiliaries into the existing engine room is always a challenge. Mm -hmm. so, so with this new two-pipe air card system, we have managed to reduce the number of the auxiliaries. And of course, that comes uh, very beneficial on the installation time, uh, less required space, mm -hmm. uh, less uh, capex on the upgrade solution as well, or set retrofit solution. Panu, the audience for Maritime Reporter tends to be a more technical crowd. Uh, can you illustrate specifically how this system works? Uh, yes, sure, Greg. Uh, many thanks for that. Um, I think the best way to, to, uh, to show uh, what are the differences between, uh, between our conventional air card and two-pipe air card is just to look at the diagrams. It explains it the best possible way. So, so as, as we can see on the original air card uh, uh, configuration, we have the air supply units, we have the cooler units, so we have a train collection, collection units, and we have the pump units, and we have more pipelines <coughs> in, in the system. Now looking at the 
uh, two pipe air guard system. We still have the same air control unit, uh, but we have less pipes going to the system. As well as, as you can see, uh, the pump unit is no longer existing in the unit. And, uh, and uh, that one is perhaps one of, uh, those ones are perhaps one of the biggest differences in these two systems. Anything between three, uh, starting from soft diameters, 300 millimeters up to 1.2 meters, we can do. So basically it covers uh, more or less all the same sizes what our, our previous generation air guard seals are covering. And it can be pretty much any type of vessel, containers, tankers, gas carriers, you name it, any vessel type. Just to highlight a few, uh, few interesting areas uh, where we differentiate is, is for example, um, improved lubrication of, of the seal ring solutions. We call it a CCM nozzle. And basically it is a functionality in the aft seal, uh, which will enhance the lubrication of the lip rings, prolong the life cycle, and of course, minimize the wear. So, so as far as I know of, there is no other seal maker having that solution available. So Panu, is this solution best suited for new builds, for retrofits, or both? And if the answer is both, uh, is there a difference between the solution from Wurzel? Well, uh, you can install for both. Of course, the two-pipe air guard is, is mainly aimed for, for, for the retrofit market, because that's, that's where, where we were facing the biggest challenge. Um, Having, having that uh, extra shock withdrawal in many cases to install the additional pipelines. So, so it is mainly aimed for the retro market, but it can be installed on a new build vessel as well. There is no problem in that respect. However, considering it that uh, we have the, the previous generations uh, which have a three pipe system uh, available. So on a new, uh, new build stage, having that additional pipe is not such a big cost because it's a new vessel. So when it's in a design, it's a, it's a relatively minimal cost to install as a new build. So, so probably the, the, the benefits are not as tangible on a new build as it's on, on retrofit. But, uh, but yes, it can be installed on both. Um, is there a requirement for the, uh, the tail shaft to be removed uh, for, the ret for the retrofit solution? Well, uh, in most of the cases, no. There is no, and, and that was the whole, uh, well, that was the part of the, uh, the developing process is to avoid the tail shaft removal because it comes with that cost. Uh, it comes with the extended docking time in some of the cases. So that was one of the main criteria. So, so for the most of the installations uh, where we have a two pipe system, there is no, uh, no need uh, for tail shaft removal provided that the piping system uh, uh, fills the say, uh, certain criteria. So, so it is, it is not needed in most of the cases. So that is a very clear benefit. It comes as a time save during the dry docking, uh, cost of the installation, and so forth. Uh, as you know, uh, time is money in the maritime business. What do you count when you're talking to your customers? What are the main advantages and benefits of this new sealing system? Well, uh, I have to say, uh, the first thing is the environmental compliance. Environment is, is a very, very important for all of us. Uh, so so that, is, that is the first one. Then of course, when we look at it from, from, from the point of view that, okay, installation time for the two pipe air guard is far less than uh, with, the, with the conventional air guard solution. So that is a, that is a one thing. Uh, less capex, less space spent in, in, in the engine room, and so on. So there are many, many tangible benefits of what the two pipe air guard can offer, especially on a retrofit installation. So, so those are the few highlights which I would like to bring.